Hello folks, Sula here, and I'm going to give you something a little bit different today, League of Legends related. Recently, we had a farming challenge at Realms Beyond, in which we were asked to try to get 100 minion kills as quickly as possible. That is, the contest was to take three of the ten different champions that were on the free champion rotation that week. So our choice was to pick between Amumu, Ash, Caitlyn, Garen, Hymer, LeBlanc, Master Yi, Mordekaiser, Morgana, or Ramus. So from that list of champions, we were asked to pick three of the ten of them, then see how quickly we could get 100 minion kills, and whoever could get the lowest time on those three champions, and then submitted their time, would be the winner of the challenge. So the idea was to get to 100 minion kills as quickly as possible. The only other rules were no using runes, that is, we had to use a blank rune page. We could use masteries, but we had to, we could use any masteries we want, but no runes. And we weren't allowed to use the blue or red buff, and not allowed to pick up Madrid's Razor, or Riggle's Lantern. So no no runes, but could use masteries. So what I did for this challenge was, first of all, I decided to set my masteries to a very unorthodox 2208. You can see the picture here. I took bonus points in improved ghost, improved experience in the utility tree. Then in the offensive tree, I took improved smite. I took the extra critical strike chance. I, you can see I took the extra spell penetration, useful on all most champion abilities, even on range carries, still do have some magic damage. The extra attack speed, extra damage to minions, extra armor penetration, extra straight damage, and then the 5% bonus at the bottom of the offensive tree. So that was my rune setup. And now I'm gonna show you some footage from the actual game itself. Okay, for my three champions, I decided to use what I thought were the two most obvious ones, that being Caitlyn and Ash, two ranged carries that we had available. For my third champion, I ended up picking Master Yi, who as it turns out, is really good at killing minions. Between his Alpha Strike, that has the automatic chance to deal high damage to minions, and his Highlander Ultimate, which allows him to move around the map really quickly. But for this game, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you my attempt with Ash. This is the one that I thought came out the best overall. And so you'll see. Anyway, again, for this challenge, again, remember, no runes, only masteries. And I just showed you them a minute ago. So for my summoners, I've taken Ghost and Smite. They're both improved. I have the masteries to improve them both. In terms of starting item, I've picked up a Doran's Blade. This is because when you're farming minions, you don't have time to go back to the fountain. So I'll never be going back to the fountain again. And it is, if that's the case, then I want sort of the best starting item possible. Doran's Blade gives me all good stats. It gives me extra health, which is in fact needed. You might not think it would be, but you take a lot of damage doing this. I also need want the extra damage to make it easier to last hit. And the lifesteal to get a little bit of health back is actually pretty helpful. So that's why I'd be picking this. In terms of starting uh, starting skills, you want to start with Volley for Ash, and you want to come over here to the Wraiths for reasons I'll explain earlier. The basic gameplay in terms of doing this is you want to try to get the most minion kills possible. So, I mean, maybe that's kind of obvious, but that's why you take Smite. You need it in order to farm the Wraiths. If all you do is stay in lane the whole time, you won't get as many minion kills as possible. You need to do something in order to increase the total number of minion kills that you're going to get. And the most the easiest way to do that is to farm up the Wraith camps on both sides. So the blue Wraith camp down here and the purple Wraith camp up here. So you can farm up those two camps and also stay in mid lane and focus on your last hitting. So anyway, what I'm going to do here is I'm waiting. I'm going to smite the blue Wraith as soon as it appears and then I'm going to volley the rest of them. So there we go and there's the volley and I'm going to take them down because I'm playing as Ash with her critical strike passive. I'm going to get a guaranteed crit on my first hit and getting a little lucky to get that second one there and then I'm going to kite that last Wraith as I start to walk back to lane. So you can see right there, I've gotten four minion kills already, and I'm already here in lane by the time that the minions go back and forth. So if you do that properly, shouldn't have any trouble being able to get back in lane in time for those first minion kills. Now we can start focusing on last hitting. So I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit. You can you want to make sure that you get every last hit possible, as much as possible. You don't want to try to miss any, if at all possible. So that is the goal of this challenge. This is a last hitting challenge to see if you can farm up. Now right here, these minions look like they're all going to die at the same time. So what am I going to do? I'm going to shoot one and then volley the, the other two. So that's pretty well done there. In terms of skilling, really the only thing to pick up is Volley. There's really nothing else for Ash that's really going to help. I'm just dumping my other points in Frost Shot. Maybe you could put a point in Hawk Shot. You'd get more gold, but what would you use it on if you're not going to go back to the store? So anyway, I did miss my first minion kill there. You can see I'm going to get that one. Can I get this last one here? And nope, shot a little bit too early. 
But now, while the minions push the tower, I'm going to come up here and do the Wraith Camp up top here. You can see my, my Smite has just respawned, so there we go. Going to Smite the big Wraith again, and this is why you need Smite. So I'm going to get another four minion kills there. Now over here, minions are dying, but if you've noticed, none of the minions have died yet. So let's see, right there, there goes down the first one, and there goes another one. Am I going to be able to get this minion here before it disappears? Let's see, and there we go. So even though two minions died in lane without me getting them, I was nonetheless able to get four Wraiths up here so that's still two additional minion kills over what i would have gotten uh, otherwise and the other nice thing about going to wraiths camp is you don't miss any minions to the last hits like you're the only one f shooting the wraiths so you don't miss any so anyway that's the logic there i'm going to auto attack here to push just to start pushing back the lane a little bit one of the things about doing this is you do need to get in some auto attacking because by pushing the lane to tower, that gives you the chance to go and farm wraiths. So you do need to auto attack a little bit, but you have to be careful in nuking the minion wave. You have to make sure that you don't miss last hits. So it's kind of a fine process, um, not the easiest thing in the world. So again, focus on your last hits. You want to make sure you, you want to try not to miss any minions. You will miss some because you're not perfect. Like that was a misclick. I was trying to get the one that was on low health. And right there, I have to kill that one. Otherwise it's going to die. Can have to get that minion because the melee minion was attacking him. There we go. Get that range creep. And now let's see if I can get these two melee ones. There's one. And can I get the last one? Yes. All right. Now, since I've just killed that wave, I'm going to use my ghost. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to farm this wraith camp while the caster minions are dying up here. You can see these guys aren't taking too much damage yet. Once again, going to smite that big wraith. I unfortunately missed that one. It goes off the leash for some reason as I try to head back to lane. Going to kite this last minion, this last wraith and get back up here. So while I did that, if you notice up here, you can see, let's see, that's three minions have died in lane. And uh, yeah, so three minions died. I was able to get four wraiths while I did that. So it still came out ahead, I think overall and there i'm going to use volley to get those two might have missed them otherwise so pretty good stuff so far you can see i'm at 43 again the goal is to get to 100 as quickly as possible my best time up to this point with with ash had been about nine minutes 45 seconds but on this run i was it was going pretty well for me anyway so here let's see i want to get that one can i get this one nope unfortunately i missed that one and that one gets hit by too many caster minions at once so i missed that one unfortunately now i'm going to go back here to the race but notice my smite is not up so that that's problematic. I'm not going to be able to smite that big wraith. I'm only going to be able to kill a couple of these and I have to be careful because the race can kill you if you uh, screw up here. So I'm um, going to get two of the race and then head back to lane. Notice that none of the minions have died yet so I do have a chance to still um, not miss any minions here in lane. And then right here is where I'm going to get lucky. Notice that the big wraith has followed me for some reason and now smite has come off cooldown so I'm going to be able to kill him. I do miss one melee minion there, unfortunately, but that still worked out pretty well for me overall. And now right here, while the three my three caster minions are fighting, they're all going to die without doing too much damage. That's going to allow me to go up here and finish off this one minion that I missed, the wraith that I missed earlier. So going to finish that off, head back down the lane, and try to get there before any of the minions die. Can I get this one here? No, just a little late. But I had to go up there, had to clear that wraith camp so it will respawn. So I do miss one minion doing that, had to go back to do it. Still overall, I think that came out pretty well. It wasn't as well done as it could have been. So you I mean, you can see there's still room to improve, but overall doing pretty well, up to 60 minion kills, now down to 628, uh, 628 on the timer. All right, so for those of you watching, if you want to try to practice this, you want to be thinking, which minion's going to die next? Which, which minion's going to die next? Can you see that? It's going to be that one there. Then next, it's going to be this one here, and right here, it's going to be this one next, and probably this one, but... Uh, so let's see, you, you have to watch where your own minions are attacking. And you again, you can't shoot too early or you'll miss it. So again, it's a bit of a fine art trying to do this. It just takes some practice. There we go. That one's going to be next. So when you're watching this, you want to try to be thinking about which minion's going to die next. Which one am I going to have to shoot? Like these two are going to go down at the same time. And so you see, I shoot a little bit too early. Bungle that one. Miss out on that minion kill. This one's obviously going to be next. You want to wait until just just before they're about to die in order to finish them off. So anyway, that's the basic idea. Again, you this is something that you, you really need to practice if you want to play League of Legends. You should be able to last hit well. Here, I wanted to go down and farm these race, but my ghost wasn't up. Didn't think I could get down there in time, so I decided I would stay in the lane for the moment. I'm going to auto-attack this cannon minion uh, because I can attack him safely without him getting killed. This guy is way back here. I want to make sure I don't miss him. Anyway, let's see, that, that cannon minion looks like it's going to go down next, but the canyons are tough to get because they have extra armor, they have the extra health, you have to be very careful with them. Going to get 
this one unfortunately nope missed one there but my my smite is back up this wraith camp has just respawned so the timing is pretty good again I'm gonna smite the big wraith shoot the others and let's see as far as these minions down here only one is in any danger of dying let's see if I can get back in the lane in order to in, in time to get these so two of them are getting low now there goes one I missed one of the race trying to get down here trying to get this one nope not gonna get it so I missed two minions but I did get the four wraiths so again I come out ahead up to 82 minion kills now so getting pretty close getting uh, getting pretty close on this hopefully I won't miss any more this one I can safely auto attack because none of my minions are hitting him so that's why I do that there same deal with that one in the back there but now I have to wait for this one because this guy's about to die can't afford to miss a minion uh, again so you're still trying to find ones that you can safely auto attack there's another one is about to go down there we go get that guy here uh, 87 so just 13 more to go notice that I have taken a lot of damage between the the race and when the minions have targeted me there we go gonna finish that guy off with volley next we've got to get this caster minion and now as my own minions die, I'm going to kite that last minion as we walk away. So there we go. We have 90 now. Just need 10 more to go. Let's see. Nine more left now. Uh, keeping an eye on this clock. It's up to nine, nine minutes now. Let's see. Now we're up to 92. Eight more to go. Uh, if I can get all the ones in this minion wave, I'll just about have it. I'm actually going to smite the cannon minion there. I thought it would kill it instantly. Didn't. Let's see. Now we just need five more. Let's see. Four more. 96. Let's see, there we go, get those two with a volley, and there we go, 99, so let's slow this down into slow motion with the replay, just need to get one more, let's see, one more hit is going to finish this one off, and there we go, 100 minions, 925 on the clock when it initially went down, now up to 926, so there you go, 926, to, or uh, 925 to get to 100 minion kills on Ash. so there you go guys. Anyway, maybe this was boring. I wanted to show you a little bit of this last hitting challenge. If you guys are welcome to practice this at home, it's something you can feel free to work on. Feel free to try to practice and improve on. It, see how, if you want to try this on your own, see how fast you can get to 100 minion kills with Ash. My time's 925, so do your best. You can try to try to beat this if you want, so it's up to you. I also ended up finishing with 928 on Caitlyn and 903, or excuse me, I had a 908 on Master Yi. So Master Yi, I think, is the fastest out of the free champs we had available so he is the best at doing this but uh i like my ash game best thought it was the most interesting played so sorry if this is a boring video i did want to demonstrate this i wanted to show a little bit about last hitting and give you guys something to practice so maybe you won't find this interesting maybe you will but i'm going to throw it up here on youtube anyway again as always thanks for watching thanks for listening and i'll have more stuff up here soon so until then take care guys